Hello South Africans, warm greetings from Abu Dhabi. I'm Saad Kachalia, South Africa's ambassador to the United Arab Emirates. Many South Africans regard the UAE as a foremost leisure and shopping destination with the two cities of Dubai and Abu Dhabi being major international connecting hubs. But not many of us will know that more than 60,000 South Africans work and live in the UAE. For our fellow South Africans spread across the Emirates, as well as the staff at the South African Embassy and the Consulate General in Dubai, and indeed for all South Africans at home, the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has posed serious challenges and has necessitated profound changes and adjustments to our everyday lives. Like the other nationalities in the UAE, many of our South Africans are fearful of the future, not only in terms of the immediate risk of contracting the virus and spreading it to other people, but also fearful of their future, their jobs, their incomes, and the future of their families, both in the UAE and in South Africa. The same fears and questions that not only we in South Africa are grappling with, but by people all over the world as well. Like many other countries, the UAE government has implemented various measures to limit the spread of the virus from self-isolation, home quarantine, and social distancing to a strict lockdown for over the past five weeks. These measures include st strict rules on social distancing and staying home. All direct social engagements and interactions have been stopped Limited movement only for essential services are allowed. Movement permits are required in some areas. An entire area has been shut down where no one can enter or leave. Schools and places of worship have been closed. Main streets and roads in various neighborhoods of the cities are out of bounds for people and are sanitized on a daily basis from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Shopping malls, leisure and entertainment parks have been shut down and sporting events have been cancelled. <coughs> there is also a proposal to postpone the opening of Expo 2020 until October 2021. And many people, those that can, are forced to work from home. Strong emphasis is also put on frequent washing of hands and the use of sanitizers and gloves. Amidst all the gloom and uncertainty, there is also good news, and it is good news. These measures implemented by the authority in the UAE are working and proving very effective for the UAE. Though the number of reported case are, cases are well over 7,000, the recovery rate is high and 35 deaths have thus far been recorded. Our government under the stewardship of President Cyril Ramaphosa has been widely praised here in the UAE and by individual governments the world over for the manner in which the President and the Ministers in Cabinet have taken charge to deal with the pandemic. Although we have some way to go, our recovery rates are very high and the death rate is comparatively extremely low. Evidence in the UAE shows and indications are that uh, in the absence of a vaccine and appropriate medication, strict adherence to preventative measures are key in controlling and combating the virus. With the UAE and many other countries as examples, I urge us all to adhere to our government's lockdown and social distancing regulations. As challenging and as tough as they may seem, it is imperative and key to combating COVID-19 that we adhere to our government's regulations and be guided by the counsel given to us by our Minister of Health, our scientists, healthcare workers and professionals. We must ensure that we drastically curb the rate of infection as we cannot afford and allow the number of infections to overtake and put a strain on our healthcare system. However, it is only with our cooperation, discipline, and support for the directors of government that we will succeed in beating the virus. May our country emerge from this crisis much stronger and united. 
and with a renewed commitment to build a better life and a better future for all. As we approach and remember Freedom Day in a few days, let us tackle our fight against the COVID pandemic with the very same zeal, resilience, fortitude, commitment and discipline that carried us to freedom and democracy. Stay home, stay safe, stay united. We are all in this together.